it's incredibly healing to be more human. My name is Ryan Foster. I'm an artist, investor, and founder. It didn't feel as human uh, in the past when I was just doing finance, when I was just doing investing. But when you come into the creative space of you can do anything, you tap into that part of your mind that just wants to do all these cool things. I grew up in a very rural town um, where I didn't have a lot of things going on. So my whole objective was to get out of that situation. I didn't know what I wanted to do necessarily, but I knew that you know, studying all the adults that they really cared about money. And so I actually started investing at a very early age, 15 years old. I was very unhappy as a kid and I put blinders on. I said, okay, my entire life will be to making it to financial independence. It took me 12 years of saving and investing and then I reached my goal and I'm excited and I'm on top of the world, like what will I do? And then my mom gets cancer. I realized that I didn't have any control. So I legitimately thought money would solve all of my problems, but the problem is when you solved all the money problems, there are still other problems. And out of that came the art. My mom uh, was told that she had six months left to live from her cancer, and I had to do something with those emotions. I had to transmute this massive amount of sorrow into something, and that's when I started making my first art collection, the transmutation of sorrow into beauty. Painting on these umbrellas, showing this extremely rainy time period for me. And then once I made it, I fell in love with the creative process. This particular collection is, of course, fluid art um, with acrylic paints because of the rain. And I rain it down from uh, basically scaffolding and then we film it in slow motion. And so this is also to show the growth and beauty that can come out of these very rainy, sad periods of time. I think as far as healing goes with art, that is a very human experience. I really admire creatives and artists who are just like, I don't care. I don't care what society is saying. I'm going to go make my own path. And so now what I'm doing, I think it's very healing, is making my own path, going out there, and just showing my creativity to the world. Every doctor said that she should have died, but she continues to live two years later. And it's an amazing thing. Growth is often disguised as misfortune. I made a contract with myself saying, I won't be happy until I get this goal. And that was the wrong way to look at life. And I wanted to find my freedom, but really what I was trying to find is my creative freedom. 